Welcome to St. David's Church and School Children's Chapel. I'm Miss Sarah, and I'm glad you're with us today. We are meditating on the Psalms. Let me light our candle before we get started. Let's say our opening prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for this day. We ask that you prepare our hearts and minds to see you and hear you today. And we love you. And we are ready to hear your word. Amen. Okay, um, we're going to do our rainbow breathing. And then I'm going to read our psalm. We do our rainbow breathing to get ready to meditate on the psalms today. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Hands up. Take a deep breath in. Push it down as you exhale. One more time. Psalm for today is Psalm 130. When I have done something wrong, I wait for you to forgive me, God. I am so sure you will comfort me. I believe in you, God, even more than I believe that tomorrow will come. When I have done something wrong, I wait for you to forgive me, God. I am sure you will comfort me. I believe in you, God, even more than I believe that tomorrow will come. I wonder what word jumps out of the page onto your heart today. When I have done something wrong, I wait for you to forgive me, God. I am so sure you will comfort me. I believe in you, God, even more than I believe that tomorrow will come. What word speaks to your heart today? I wonder what word God is using to speak to you today. I wonder how you will respond to this Psalm 130 today. The painting here reminds me of the story of Jonah and the whale. Jonah ran away, tried to run away from God. And he found himself in the middle of the ocean sinking and God sent a great big fish to swallow him up and rescue him. And Jonah said, I'm sorry. And God forgave him. And the whale spit him out back onto the shore. And Jonah listened to God. God forgave. God forgives us. And I am so sure of that forgiveness, even more than I know that tomorrow will come. Boys and girls, God wants to forgive you. He always, always, always will forgive us. And you know how I know that? Because of Jesus. Because God sent his son Jesus to be with us and to die for us. So it's already done. God always will forgive us. And I am so sure of that, even more sure than tomorrow. I colored a picture with the word forgive and I put the cross on there because that reminds me of Jesus. And then I cut it and I put it back together as if it were a puzzle. I taped it back together 
God puts the pieces of our life back together when we are forgiven, when we ask for forgiveness. So what you're gonna do is take a piece of paper and you're gonna color on it however you want. However, whatever word sticks out to you, if you wanna write that word, you can, or you can color a picture, what that word means. And then you're going to cut it up. I cut mine in threes, three strips. And then I cut them again, but I'm just gonna show you. And then you tape it back together with some scotch tape, like a puzzle. You fit the pieces back together and it reminds you that when you say I'm sorry and you ask for forgiveness, God always puts the pieces back together. They may look a little different than they did before, but they're back together and that's a promise. You can cut right in the middle of the word if you want and make a really hard, a harder puzzle. And then you can even mix up the pieces and try to put it back together like you're making a puzzle. Like you're doing a puzzle. See? You can even cut out little puzzle pieces. Okay. Let's do our hand prayer. You ready? Remember, we're gonna pause after each one. I love you, God. I'm sorry, God. I'm thankful, God. Help others, God. Help me, God. I'm listening, God. <laughs> 